Our journey to Chrysaris was very long and had many steps. Our first and most important step was to define the problem. Chrysaris' motive is to enhance the learning experiences and memories of the students, create more community and environmental connections, and prepare the students for the real world that's out there. Now my teammates will state the three major problems we found on our way to Chrysaris. The first major problem in schools today is the fact that kids don't completely understand the necessary need to go to school. They think it's more of just a thing under the law that you have to go to the school. But that's not the kind of understanding we want from the kids. We want them to completely understand that they should go to school because they want to and they think it's a necessary need for their growth. If they don't have the passion for the school or their studies, they won't get a complete understanding about this. And if they don't have a complete understanding now, they can't possibly have it later. So as parents, teachers, and community members, we have to help these kids understand this concept and create a true passion for this. On this show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? A lot of the adults failed this test because when they were growing up and learning these skills, they had not completely fully mastered them and they had not understood them. If they had not understood them then, how could they understand them now? Our second problem is that there's simply a great gap between the school and its surrounding community. This disconnection doesn't allow for students to develop a sense of responsibility or independence and they don't plan ahead for the future in which they must fit into a community around them. The, because of this, when students come out of school, they find it a struggle to fit into the community they're in simply because they weren't prepared for it. Where does cheese come from? A lot of students would answer this question as a local grocery store. But is that the type of explanation we want from them? Should it instill in them the simple idea of where their resources come from? If we don't do this, how will they keep a better earth for the next generation? This is our third problem. We believe that by finding a solution to these problems, we can create a better learning environment and a better school of the future. Our next step in the process was to collect different ideas from different people so that we can find a solution to these problems and generate a concept. For this, we went out and interviewed different members of our society, such as parents, students, teachers, and so many more people. Students and our future schools should have like trash chutes and recycling chutes so when a student needs to dispose of trash or recycling material, they can put it into a chute and it goes to the appropriate bin and then that way we don't have trash bins and we don't have garbage cans all over campuses. Uh, I think the community enhances student learning by bringing in different elements of the student's life into the classroom. So maybe it could be their culture at home um, and kind of influencing the conversations and the types of dialogues that we can have in the classroom. Um, I wish that more professionals would come into the classroom to improve our learning. Well, I think that um, kids are going to get drowned in technology and they won't care about their education as much as kids now. I wish that more technology was implemented into our learning curriculum. I think it's very important for students to be aware of the nature in their environment because if they understand the environment around them, they understand how their learning relates to their actual. Now that we've gathered ideas from community members, we decided to put all the singular thoughts onto an idea board that will help us brainstorm and organize our thoughts on creating the school of the future. This is our idea board. We've taken all our thoughts and ideas and organized them on sticky notes onto the board in order for us to brainstorm and organize our thoughts more easily. Now that we have a solid idea of what problems and solutions we wanted our school to address, we, just, we sat down and started making conceptual, conceptual diagrams of what we wanted our school to look like. We used isometric views, bird's eye views, 2D diagrams, and even blackboard diagrams to visualize what we wanted our school of the future to look like to us. Now that we had all of our diagrams, we began to start visualizing our futuristic academy. For our next step, we began to build a three-dimensional model that brought all of our dreams to life. We began with a simple layout of our school, keeping a simplistic design as to stay true to our concept of being easily reproduced anywhere in the world. We began by drawing our sketch onto the cardboard and building all of our towering buildings off of the design. The model is almost an enlargement of our rough sketches, with few major changes. Chrysaris' theater in the center of its campus is a place for students of 
the arts, sciences, and much more to lay out their inner selves through dance, music, and theater. The recreation rooms on both sides are places for students to exercise their hobbies, enjoy, and have fun. Crusaders' hospital wing is filled with only the most advanced technologies and medicines. Students that are aspiring to find a career in medicine are welcome to intern here and to see how the real world of medicine works. The maglev system that surrounds Crusaders' campus is an easy, free way for students to transport themselves from their classes and dormitories. It's faster than walking, and there are maglev trains high in the sky and maglev cars down on land to take students throughout the institute. The gym and locker room are completely powered by the human exercises, and they also have a health monitor that monitors the students' health. The greenhouse is only for experimental uses and to help kids completely understand the meaning of nature. At Crusaders, the boarding is divided into four dormitories based off of career passions. Each dormitory has its own facilities such as libraries and snack bars. At Crusaders, we have two different types of classrooms, career academy classroom and a basic classroom. In the basic classroom, we teach the standard subjects and have equi equipment accordingly. In the career academy classrooms, each of them are specialized to the career passion of that dormitory. In this video, we've covered our three main problems, how we generate ideas and progress them from sticky notes in a corkboard, the 3D sketches, and finally our model, into what we now like to call Chrysiris, where with wisdom we grow.